Uh, I was told my hair was staticky. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you so much to the judges and my fellow finalists. It's such an honor to share this with you. Um, thank you to Sigrid Nunez, last year's award winner who told me I had to write something down. Uh, I did, only because she told me to. <laughs> so thank God she did. Um, this book was a collaboration, as they all are, but much more so, I think, than any other book I've ever written. Um, thank you, Jin Ah, for being the difference between this book existing and not. I don't think this book would have existed if you hadn't come along and told me that it should be a book. Thank you to Barbara Jones, who's the difference between this book existing and being a hell of a lot better than it was when you first saw it. So thank you, Barbara. Um, thanks to everyone at Holt, Amy Einhorn, Maggie Richards, Pat Eisenman, Declan Tainter, Ruby Rosely, Jason Liebman, and everyone else at that amazing publishing house. And thank you to Alexandra Christie and Andrew Wiley and everyone else at the Wiley Agency. Um, you guys have taken really good care of me. Um, the, the longer I do this, write books, and also teach writing for a living, the more I'm struck by how it's really its own reward, um, given what we're all facing today and what many people are, are facing in, a, in an even more intense sense. I really find it an astonishing privilege that this is what I get to do for a living and that I get to do it with people like you. Thank you. When I was a little kid and writing my first very derivative fiction, and when I was 20 and uh, working at a cash register in a health food store, and even when I was 30 and had published one book, I never thought that I would one day be able to actually lead a life that was centered on books and writing, um, that that would be what I did, and that I would be able to bring other people into that world through my work. Um, so I'm so grateful for that, thank you.